There are two families of barrel cactus that have similarities and differences. They can easily be mischaracterized as one family of cactus species. This is a good example of species environmental assimilation, meaning different species exposed to the same climate conditions tend to evolve similar defenses to survive in their habitat. The most recognized is Ferrocactus, while the other one is Echinocactus. Here we will highlight two species of Ferrocactus that resemble two species of Echinocactus. In our first comparison we have two gigantic species of barrel cacti, Echinocactus platycanthus and Ferrocactus dihuetii. Echinocactus platycanthus, also known as the giant barrel cactus, golden barrel cactus, giant visnaga, or visnaga de dulce, is a species of cactus, family Cactaceae. It is native to central Mexico in the Chihuahuan Desert. This species is the largest of the barrel cacti. In Mexico the hairs are often used for weaving, the acitron, a traditional Mexican candy, is produced by boiling the pith. Sometimes the plant's body is purple banded when juvenile. The giant barrel is grey-blue and nice when small, but areolas merge and form a continuous line when it becomes large. The juvenile echinocactus look very different from the mature specimens. In fact, like the other Echinocactus and Ferrocactus seedlings, the rib structure is not yet apparent, and they have pronounced tubercles. Older specimens take on an oblong shape with age and can dominate a landscape because of their large size and impressive bulk. They also tend to lean to the south or southwest so that the spines can better protect the body of the plant from the harsh desert sun. In fact, desert travelers can use the plant as a compass. Echinocactus platycanthus has several synonyms that may appear on seller availability lists. Echinocactus palmeri and E. engines are names used interchangeably to identify this cactus species. Here are some excellent habitat specimen shots as well as what they look like when small. Ferrocactus diguetii is an island endemic from the Gulf of California, Baja California Sur, Mexico, on the islands of Carmen, Santa Catalina, Cerralbo, Danzante, and San Diego. The species is very abundant on the islands of Catalana and Cerralbo. This species of Ferrocactus, like Echinocactus platycanthus shows the phenomenon of gigantism, being larger and more robust than its nearest relatives in continental regions. Ferrocactus diguetii is a spectacular cactus that grows up to 4 meters tall. It is among the largest species of column-like cacti, usually unbranched, forming a solitary column. The plants from Santa Catalina, are probably the largest and most spectacular of all for rock cactus. In terms of availability, Echinocactus platycanthus is much more common in the marketplace, perhaps because it was discovered long before the island endemic Ferrocactus diguetii and young platycanthus seedlings have a much higher chance of survival. In terms of growth rates both grow slow, but platycanthus grow faster and has a much higher success rate. For a cactus diguetii seedlings can flop if pushed too hard by overwatering. Here are some excellent habitat specimen shots as well as what they look like when small. In our second comparison, we examine two other Echinocactus and Ferrocactus species. First we have the famous Echinocactus brusonii also known as the Golden Barrel Cactus. Although its origins are somewhere in Mexico, it is one of the most common cactus varieties to be found in just about any cactus store, especially big box retailers. Although it is common, it is rather temperamental, needs protection from extreme temperatures, and is not recommended as a first shot at starting your cactus collection. A good alternative is the so-called blue barrel, which is the Ferrocactus glaucoschens. 
This barrel cactus species can handle a much wider range of temperatures, is not likely to get sunburned with improper exposure, and with time, forms a very large cluster of globular stems emanating from one root structure. Although the blue barrel is a much more hardy plant, it is much more uncommon in the marketplace, especially if you wish to acquire a specimen with reasonable size. There you have it. A comparison of four different species of Ferrocactus and Echinocactus similarities and differences. We hope this helps your understanding of how to identify various species of cacti. Often when you are shopping, the name tags are incorrect, because the staff that moves them to the marketplace are not cactus experts. Find out more at our Cactus Bill in e-commerce site. Thanks for watching until the end.